Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to have you. And if you're already existing, then thank you for coming back. So today I've bought you a pretty sizable Primark haul, which I'm so, so excited about. Um, I'm trying something a little bit different this time. I normally like a tea dress, it comes in at the waist. I'm a pear shape, so I'm big on my bottom half and kind of get away with wearing something that comes in at my smallest part, which is my waist. Um, Bertie. My little pup's biting me. Um, but when I went to Primark today, I'm finding everything that's trending or is trendy at the moment and very in and like this, um, what's her name? Stacey Solomon collection is kind of smocky. I'm finding like the long skirts with oversized jumpers. That's the kind of style that is going like high necks. And me being a curvier girl, sometimes it swamps me. So I want to try some of the trends, but do take bit, bits from the trends. I don't know where I'm even going with this. Take bits from some of the trends, but still try and style it in to fit my figure. So I'm going to get on with that. But I do want to quickly start. I am starting to like wear a few accessories. I have worn these bee earrings for months now. I got these for my birthday off Gary, Olivia Burton ones. Um, but I was looking to get myself another coin necklace. I normally wear my silver coin necklace, but... I was looking to get a gold one, funnily enough, and I looked on some lady's website, and she's kindly gifted me this, and it's called Beads, Bows and Buttons. I'll link it in the description box below on Instagram, and I think she has an Etsy shop. No, she does have an Etsy shop, but this is the link for Instagram, and she's got the link for the Etsy. I'm going to show you a bit closer. So they do, she does these in silver and rose gold, and you can have one, you can have as many tags of these as you want, um, and mine have got an M on them, an A and an A, so like the initials. My children's first initials, which I think is so cute. I don't know if you could see that very well. I, you know what I'm like, I'm terrible with filming. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which is Rosie Henshaw Home, that I'll have pictures on there so you'll see up close. But also if you follow the link, you'll have a look. But she does these lovely little peapod necklaces and stuff. And I just thought this is really cute. And sometimes by paying a little bit more than junk jewellery from Primark, you get the really trendy look of having like the little coin necklaces that are in at the moment. But they last a lot longer and then don't go green as well when they're made from nice proper materials. So, going to get on with the haul and start off. So, thank you very much my lovely necklace. I absolutely love it. And I'll be wearing this all the time and I did actually do a story on my Instagram this morning and you could see this in the background and I had so many messages from me saying oh my god where's your necklace from it's lovely so I'm gonna get on now with the haul now first in there I see this dress now this is such a me <gasps> no I'm gonna show you this first this first so part of the Stacey Solomon collection is, are you seeing these boots everywhere? Like, I've got some chunky boots and buckle boots, but I'm seeing these very, like, Dr. Martin style boots. I don't want to be paying in the hundreds for a pair of boots, so I know I'm not going to probably want to wear after the winter. So, she's got some boots in there. How lovely are these boots? They're part of the Stacey Solomon collection, but they've got zips inside. And what I loved about these is the fact that you can... Leave it slightly unzipped, or I do these a little bit looser because I've got quite chunky ankles. So for these to sort of not make me look weird with my ankles sort of hanging over them, you're going to get my little stole. I've got some tights on today as well, by the way. Oh, I'm going to put some, show you these boots first because I absolutely love these. I think they've got cardboard in them. No, they don't. You're just being an idiot, Rose. How cute. <laughs> <laughs> kind of view them up now. How cute are these boots? Absolutely, pull, me, pull your tights up, love. L love these boots. How cute are they? And, <laughs> and how cute are they going to look with like a dress? So these were £18. And I absolutely love these. So I'm just going to, I'll show you up close. They're like a velvety kind of. And they've got like the lovely little like tie buckle ones on them. Like the ones that you go like that to. I know what I'm talking about, even if you don't. But they are part of the Stacey Solomon collection. But these look lovely with dresses. Or skinny jeans and a blouse. Or like a nice um, long skirt. So I'm just going to put them on. Because I'm going to be wearing these for kind of outfits. To go with. Oh trendy look <laughs> look I yeah this is how I go out <laughs> David from Little Britain I'm the only one in the village <laughs> <laughs> 
So, right, I'm gonna get on to the first dress. So these are 18 pounds, I absolutely love these boots. But why I love these boots is I also bought when I was in there as well. These are trending. So these are lovely headbands, like the big knotted ones. They have so many in Primark. This one was five pound, but it's very big. And it's like full of like beads and pearls. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna have me a little bit of that. I'm gonna trend myself up a bit and get one of these. I wanted one of these. I bought one of these in New Look Hall about four months ago. And yeah, it sort of blended in with my hair. But now my hair is sort of like been bleached a bit from the sun. I quite like these headbands, sort of like, they're really in, and my friend has got some, and she always looks really nice in them. So I thought I'd wear this with my boots to try and bring a bit more trending. So sometimes I can buy some shapes that still suit my body and still have a couple of pieces that are trendy. You haven't got to buy a whole new wardrobe, even just by buying some new accessories, i.e. my headband and my boots. And this was five pound, this one, but they had loads in there for like a pound or two pound. This was because it's larger. So the first dress I'm gonna show you, we're like six minutes in and I've not even started trying clothes on. So the first dress I got was in a size 16 and this cost me 18 pound. Now, a little bit one of the pricey ones again, but I absolutely love this and really wanted it. I went down to my friends in London um, over the weekend and when I see this, that she had it, I was like, oh, I love that and I really, really want it. I just hope my one has it. I'm getting a bit of a kerfuffle. Has this got a slip under it? Oh, it has got a tiny little slip. Just the skirt part. So, and I absolutely love this. And I hope it fits. Let's hope it fits. I'm getting caught up with all my accessories. <laughs> what was that little squeak about, Rose? What's the bet this don't fit around my hips because it's a 16? Oh wow, it's got a split as well. Let's pull that slip down because the slip has got stuck to my tights. See now, I absolutely love this dress. It does come up quite high on the neck, but I am going to tuck that in. It comes in at the waist on my smallest part and comes down. And it's got that kind of like grungy look. It's got like a lovely little pattern to it. So it's like black and white floral. It's got the lovely little sleeves. No one was a fan of my sleeves last time where they was like ultra flary for my new look hole. But how cute is this little outfit? It's very, very trendy. I really like it. It's gonna keep me nice and warm in the winter. I'm gonna go around looking at the shops. This dress has got the loveliest split at the side as well. Sort of comes just above the knee and the like, sort of slip comes to I think it's about there the slip comes to and it's got a lovely little ruffle detail right around the bottom of the skirt as well i love this and it's also got the little covered buttons at the front you could even jazz this up a bit i'm not too keen on just the plain elastic waistband i probably would want to wear a belt but if i'm wearing like buckly shoes with details on and a buckly hairband it's just going to look a bit ott a bit too much but i really like this and even if you weren't wearing this with a headband and boots, just like those nice velvet knee high boots, or little loafers and a nice long coat. This is lovely and this is the pattern. I'm already out of breath, but that's not a surprise really, one anyway, but two, it's not a surprise because I've been talking for seven minutes without even trying anything on, so I've already worn myself out. So I get this off, so this is 18 pounds, but I love this, and I just know that this is also gonna be worn throughout the winter, and in the spring with some sandals, in the summer you can wear it with some sandals. It's always going to be one of them dresses that stays in your wardrobe and you can wear throughout the whole year. So, another one moving on is, these skirts are so in. I had one on my um, New Look haul last week and the week before that I'd done a Tesco's haul. So these pleated skirts, you're seeing them everywhere. They're like the, the granny pleat. But they are so in and they're just so nice. I, I love this length. I think this length of a skirt for any woman, shape, size or height, these are perfect because if you're short and the dress skirts normally seem too long or if you wear a skirt and you're tall and they, then they come up too short, this midi length is just so flattering and it comes in on everyone's smallest part of their waist. You can wear like a jumper with this and sort of tuck it in and it look quite cute. How much was this and what size did I get it in first rows? Right, I've got this in a size 16 and this cost me 
£13. So it cost me £13. And the reason I've got this is just because I thought, with the little boots, or if you're trying to go more classy looking, with like the knee high velvet, oh, <laughs> the knee high velvety boots. But I thought this looks really, really cute, especially if you team it up. Let me open my drawer. If I've got like the messiest cupboard, please don't judge me. But like I've got my little, I've got my little charity shop jumper that was originally from Primark. So. We shall see. And it's very much like the Stacey Solomon collection. And I am a bigger girl, but I think if you tuck it in at the waist and then sort of accessorise it up, I think I've gone too mad with the accessories. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You can get away with this. I think sometimes you always... A lot of people seem to think the curvier you are, you can't kind of follow trends. But I think if you kind of stick to these rules... Don't over swamp yourself with layers and wherever your smallest part is, try and emphasize that. So if your favorite area is your like decolletage, try not to wear a higher neck. If your favorite, like your smallest bit is your waist, tuck it in and bring it in or even put a belt round. I think if you apply those rules, if you've got a lovely set of pins, but you don't like your belly or your top half, stick to like things that really like cling to your bottom half, show off your bottom half, show off your best bits that you love. And then you can still wear the trends, but know the shapes and sizes. I have bought one thing that I know might not look great on me, but I just look at some things and I really like things. Like I really like that jumper from my new look haul last week and no one was having it. They was like, Rosie, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> there weren't many items in it. I think I've showed you the length of this skirt. So the length of this skirt is roughly about sort of like above ankle length. And I absolutely love this. I love this skirt. I love the pattern of it. It's like very autumnal. But you can also... Do you know what I mean? It isn't so dark that you probably couldn't wear this all year as well. And you could wear this with some sandals. I probably would might wear this with like my velvet knee-high boots. I think it might look a little bit more subtle. A little less grungy. But I'm really liking that grungy look with these type of boots. I'll take them off now. Because I'm getting really hot and bothered and getting caught to the skirts. So for how much I pay for this then? So for thirteen pound, I think this is lovely. You can wear this with a nice, like, sort of like roll neck jumper top, or a nice long sleeve t-shirt, or a little blouse tucked in, or a jumper. It's just really lovely. And if you like dark colours and you want to have a little bit of red over Christmas, then this is perfect because you can sort of have everything else black, and this will give a little pop of red with a little bit of red lippy. Woo! Also, while I was in there. I had to pick this one up. Now they had a leather look one in black or they had the tool. So this is a very similar skirt. It's the pleat, but it's that sort of like tutu material. Well, I absolutely love this. I got this in a size 16 as well and I paid £13 for this one. Now this for me is going to be worn with like a black type of lace body top, high heels and my hair blow dried, like a nice little jacket. This is definitely going to be one of the parties I end up going to over Christmas or New Year. I absolutely love this. I feel like a little chunky sugar plum fairy, but like an evil one that's dressed in black. But it's a good thing. I mean it in a good way. <laughs> but I love this. It's got like this little silky waistband. And I think whenever you wear black, it's so slimming. I absolutely, this is probably when I went in there, I see this, I was like, I love that, it's one of my favourite things. And it's so nice on the waist, sometimes I get a 16, and because my waist is smaller, even though my bottom's like an 18 round here, they come a little bit loose, but because it's elasticated, it's sucking in right at the smallest part, looks really lovely, I really like this for £13. Ooh. And I'm going to put that one on the bed as well. You have to excuse me in the tights, I'm not exactly wearing the best of supported knickers, so I look really like wobbly and jiggly. But you love it, you love it really. Also, while I was in there, um, I didn't lie, I've got quite a few bits. <laughs> now, this is the thing I was talking about, I don't know <laughs> if this is going to suit me. My smallest part's my waist, and I can't really get away with a smocky dress. But I'm seeing these smocky dresses all over the place. They look absolutely stunning on everyone else. 
and I'm just really hoping that they'll look okay on me. So I got this smocky dress. Now I got this in an 18 because the pleat comes at my largest part, which is my lower hip, so like my saddle bag where it meets my thighs. That's my largest part. So I thought if I get an 18, because I'm an 18 there, it won't cling to that part. One second, you. And this is in a lovely olive green. I've got this in a size 18 and this is 13 pound. And this does have quite a high neck but yet again I wouldn't have it done up to the top I would have this like this have like a little necklace on I keep putting on and off my headband this is going to drive people mad I guarantee in the comments someone's like can you stop touching your hair and putting your little it looks like a little willy what is that on my head <laughs> my little crown but I do love this dress now I know this is very oversized and just sort of smocks me out but I'm young, I'm only 27, I want to wear what some of the other 27 year olds are wearing without just being too classy and floral all the time with dainty dresses. I probably would have to tie this in at the waist with a belt. I don't know if my belt's doing them anymore. No, they're not, because I changed it round. So once I put a belt round, sort of the middle area, maybe pleat it at the front, tie it in a little bit, but I absolutely love this and I love this sort of like moss colour. I'm gonna grab a belt. Not that it's like any shock that I keep going off camera doing the worst video in the world. That's just... Right, I've only got a tan belt, so ignore the colour. But you'll know where I'm going with this. It's only to show the shape. I might even wear a tan belt with it, actually. It's a tan belt from Topshop. This is meant to be a waist belt for somebody. It's kind of insulting that this fits around my waist. But I can't really be that disappointed because I do like cake. I actually quite like the tan belt with this. Not with a headband, not going to lie. I'll take that headband off. <laughs> but like a little pair of like tan Chelsea boots. I really, really like this. And it's only £13, pound, this dress. And I love that it's got long sleeves, but it's loose enough that it's not going to be sort of clinging to my arm. I could wear this, have a nice little tan over shoulder bag and a little jacket. I'd feel quite classy and quite well put together. And I do like that where this kicks here, the only bit I have a problem with is the fact that it smocks right out from my boobs and don't come in. I do love it when you get a ruffle here because I've said it a few times. You get the influence of sort of having a bit of a perky bum, even though my bum's just like super flat. Not that there's anything wrong with it. My, my husband loves my super flat long bum. It's like a square at the bottom as well. I don't even know what shape that is. I say peachy bum. Mine's more like a slab of cheese. Like, <laughs> like it's even got the dimples in it, like Stilton, because of the cellulite. So, but I, I actually really love this for £13. And I think this is quite classy bit ageless as well. I really like this. I love an army green though. I really do. I'm trying to catch my breath. I don't want to bore you. So I think I've bought too much actually this week. So I'm going to fit it all in. <laughs> I did say I'd bring you a dance move every different Friday for a try on. So I've been having a little practice. When I say practice, it means like me having a laugh with myself in the car on the way home thinking what dance move should I do and I was sort of like torn between like the watering can or like is that the watering can or like a dead parrot or like a llama the watering can and then I realized it's like the salt bay has anyone seen the salt bay when you get the chefs and they pinch a little bit of salt and they're like like that with a salt bay that you got to wiggle your hip at the same time with the salt bay it's an excellent dance move get you right in the go for Christmas salt bay Got to wiggle your arms as well while you do it. Really make some noise. Right, so this thing, I don't know if everyone's going to like this. I've got a feeling most of the people that watch my videos aren't going to like this. But I've had to get it because this is going to be ideal for dog walks. And I've been sucked in. I've been sucked in. Normally, I go into a shop, I like what I like, and normally what I like is a tea dress, and it just so happens that tea dresses are the perfect sort of shape for my body. At the minute, I'm loving... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's not a stain. It's a shadow from the shutters. I thought there was a stain on it. But every now and again, I'll see something, i.e. the jumper from last week that just looked awful that had to go back. I'll see something and I'll go, I really, really like that. I'm going to try it. And I'll just have to buy it, even though I know it probably isn't going to suit me. But I've had to buy this because it was £12 as well. I got this in a size large, which means a 14 to 16, which is pushing it a little bit around the bum, but it's really oversized. And I got this for £12. Now, this is a jumper, but it is. And it's lovely and warm. It's a hoodie. 
and I don't really generally think hoodies, I normally look quite bulky, I look like a bit of a bouncer, but this is perfect for walking Bertie, <sighs> I love the length of it, it's a jumper dress, yeah I know you're not feeling it and it ties in at the bum which just looks really weird, but I just thought if I sort of accessorised it up, look, I keep saying accessorise it up and I'm just sticking the same headband on. Look at me with all my like various accessories, i.e. one headband I bought. <laughs> I thought, if I'm walking Bertie and I've got a little pair of tights on and my little wellies and like maybe a jacket and I'm walking down the, like, you know, the beachfront, walking Bertie, it looks kind of young and trendy. It doesn't look flattering, of course it doesn't, but I thought... It's going to keep me warm and it's going to be cosy and then when I come home and then like a long walk on a Sunday with all the kids and they've all got their scooters sort of walking down the beachfront, come home and do a cup of tea and do a little bit of cleaning. It's one of them things that's so cheap and sort of like washes up so well these kind of jumpers. So you can afford to sort of like do a bit of your bleaching and cleaning in it. Maybe not bleaching, that's pushing it a little bit too far. But sort of like, do you know what I mean? One of them comfy things. So it's kind of like, well it's loungewear isn't it? I can't think of the word. It's loungewear. I love this and I do actually love, we'll see the hood, my head's quite a big head, so sometimes I buy things with a hood and the head don't fit my head, might not fit my little like, oh look, back to reality, oh the, I'm Eminem now, but I really really like this, got a hood, a bit pointy with my little headband on, but I really like this, I thought this is kind of cute and I am 27, so if I want a long hoodie drop dress to walk down to the seafront with my dog, I think I deserve it with a little pair of wellies. No doubt I'll probably like style it up with the most kitsch floral calf kits and wellington boots that are on my wish list. <laughs> For crimbo, we'll see if Gary gets me in. Then my dream will be complete. And if not, then this might have to go back. <laughs> I'm going to have to take these tights off, off camera, so that you don't see these awful knickers. Because they are just the worst... <laughs> Granny, uh, Bertie, isn't snuggle time? And put my, make sure my belly's tucked into my knickers because it's sort of overlapping at the minute. Put my jeans on. Now these jeans are from Primark. They're really, they're the 13 pound ones. I get asked about these all the time. But I'm just using these to try these on because I've got a blouse to show you. And it would look a little bit weird if I was just wearing the blouse. With no trousers. Each to their own if you want to do that. <laughs> Hopefully the gym dance won't happen. <laughs> yeah, of course it's going to happen. I'm being unrealistic, wearing a size 16 pair of jeans. Of course I've got to squeeze into them. <laughs> so, right. Jeans on. Now I'm going to show you my blouse. And just pre-warning, there's a good chance I might whack out the headband again. <laughs> so, did I say how much? That was, yes, £12. I did say how much that was and what size I put in. Now, when I saw this hanging up on the hanger, I love a peplum top. I thought, this looks Zara. It looks like it's from Zara. Got this in a size 16 and this was a tenner. And I just thought, peplums are lovely if you've got a smaller waist. Because obviously I carry all my weight on my legs and my bum. You've got buttons there so you can undo it if it gets a bit too tight on your arms. Which I might have to do because I do find I have quite chunky arms. But, I'm hoping it's not like one of them fairy dolls. You know, like the baby dolls that you wear. You don't wear a baby doll, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I've already got a feeling you won't like this. But I just thought with a little bit of red lipstick and a little pair of, like, sandals. Well, no, not even sandals. Maybe with my boots and my headband. <laughs> Maybe just my headband again. I'm trying to, like, style it up a bit. Be like, try a few different styles. I guarantee this all goes back and I end up getting just some florally dresses. I just thought with a little pair of jeans, I like that this comes in at the waist. You could even put maybe, mind you, this is coming up quite across the boob. I thought it was going to be about here. Maybe if my boobs are a little bit higher and not tucked in, shirt not tucked in. But I really, I really like this. And I thought for £10, this really looks like it's from Zara. And I thought this would look quite cute. And classy if I wore a little pair of like tan leather loafers with this and a nice long like camel coat I thought this would look quite smart and quite posh it's a bit annoying because it's that sort of cotton material where I'd have to iron it but one blouse I think I'd be alright about 
but I would have to wear this with these like extremely tight black jeans I think even blue would be pushing it because I think the black sort of makes them look a bit smaller to bring me in a little bit before this sort of big frill comes out so oh I'm actually dying <laughs> breather I got caught in the rain I fell over in the car park today which is no joke because a woman caught me really embarrassing i had to sort of wait in the car for 10 minutes to wait it out until she'd gone and anyone else that witnessed had gone and now i'm sort of like falling all over the place and uh oh i've done the most shameless thing today as well shameless went to the guy toilet and where where i live where where my local town there's a restaurant called preto it's like brazilian food it's amazing like i always want to go in there and eat like every time i smell it i want it but I walked past it today and I was absolutely busting for a wee. I thought, oh, can I go in there? And you know when you do that thing where other women know what you're saying, even when you don't have to say it. I've done the really shameless. It isn't that bad when it's like that, but I can really, mind you, I've got skinny jeans on. I can really push my belly out and I sort of put my hand underneath like this. I was like, I'm really sorry. Can I borrow your toilet? And, you know, pretending I'm pregnant, even though I didn't say it. And she was like, yeah, yeah, of course you can. You go to the toilet. And then you get in the toilet and you think, am I abusing <laughs> that woman by, like, just misleading her so much? But I was so busting for a wee. And since I've had kids, my pelvic floor's awful. I feel like I'm going to wet myself. So I thought, no, I can't have that in. I've definitely got to go in the toilets, whether I've got to pretend I'm pregnant or not. I don't even have got to buy a drink, but I think you have to sit down and eat in there. So this is in a size 16 for £10. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. No, I'm not stuck. You're a drama queen, Rosie. Oh. I hope everyone likes my head then. <laughs> the star of the show. I think I've had it on the wrong way, though. Yeah, I think I have. I've sort of looped it. Oh, I think I have had it on the wrong way. I don't know how I feel about this. So many girls look nice in these, though. I just, I don't know. I think my hair's a bit weird for them. I like one of them weird dogs. You know the ones that have got the long ears? Gonna try it on. Right, anyway, I don't want the video to be extremely, extremely long. I'm gonna link the link below for the necklace. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you're not subscribed and you want to be, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave a lovely comment if you want to. Thank you so much for all the comments so far. They've been amazing. Bertie, come back with my headband. No word of a lie, he's nicked my headband. Bertie! He's like, yeah, whatever, Mum. It's mine now. Um, and, yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And hit the notification bell if you do want to subscribe so that you can keep in touch with all my videos. Hope you enjoy it. Have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. See you on Tuesday. Bye. I'm Rosie Henshaw. Bye.